zoax.net. Lesson 9. Relational Operators For this lesson, you will need a project like the one we created in Lesson 1. Relational operators give us the ability to compare two things, usually numbers. There are six relational operators, equal to, less than, greater than, not equal to, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. In Java, these operators allow us to take two values and determine whether they fulfill the specified relationship. If the relationship holds, the value that the operator returns is true. If the relationship does not hold, the value that the operator returns is false. For the equal to operator, we use the double equal signs instead of a single equal sign. This is because the single equal sign is used for the assignment operator. To demonstrate the difference, we will look at a simple program. Here we have declared a variable ix. Then we use an assignment operator to set the value of ix to 10. In the next two lines, we print a question that asks whether ix is equal to 5 and calculates the answer using the equal to operator. This operator is evaluated to be a Boolean value, which is either true or false. Executing the program, we see that the equal to operator evaluates to false, as we would expect. Here are the six relational operators and their Java equivalents. Along with the equal to operator, there are three other operators that are represented in Java by two characters the not equal to, the greater than or equal to, and the less than or equal to. The reason for this is that the characters for these operators are not available on the keyboard. Each of these operators can be used to compare two numbers and generate a Boolean value to indicate whether the relationship holds. In this program, we apply each of the operators to the values 1 and 5. Executing the program, we see the relational operators printed along with their Boolean evaluations. If we apply an operator to a variable, then we have a set of values for which the statement is true and a set for which it is false. In this program, we apply the less than operator to a variable named dx with the value 5 as it takes on several values. Executing the program, we see this. Each of the print statements are the same. The only changes that we make are the values in the assignments of the variable dx. Notice that the statement dx less than 5 is true for some of the values and is false for others. The set of values where this is true can be represented on a number line like this. The red region represents the set of values where the statement is true, and the empty circle means that the value 5 is excluded from the set. Likewise, we have a set of true values for each of the operations, and they can be graphed on a number line like this. Notice that the set for each operator has a setwise complement. For example, the equal to and the not equal to operators generate setwise opposites or complements. Likewise, less than and greater than or equal to are setwise complements, as are greater than and less than or equal to. For our last program, we demonstrate the real power of relational operators by putting one inside of a conditional. We begin by declaring and initializing our variable to zero. Then we have an if statement that tests whether dx is less than 10. If so, we print dx is less than 10. Otherwise, we print dx is greater than or equal to 10. Notice that the two statements are setwise complements. Executing the program, we see the statement dx is less than 10 printed. On the other hand, if we change the initialization value to 20 and execute the program, we see the statement x is greater than or equal to 10.